It is time for this month's favorites. You guys know how much I love sharing my favorites of the month. As always, everything will be linked down below in the info box. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. It is so nice to meet you, but let's go ahead and get started because I've got a ton of things to share with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive in to some beauty products. And first up is this deodorant that I am dying to share with you guys because I love it, love it, love it. If you've been around for a while, you know that deodorant has been a hot topic here on Lux Mommy a few times. I personally struggle with finding deodorants that work. They either just don't work for me, they make me sweatier than normal, they make me stinkier than normal, I know a little TMI, but it's just the truth, or they give me a rash and break me out. So I am super, super picky about deodorants. I think there have been two or three that I have shared with you guys over, you know, the course of Lux Mommy that I have liked. This is a new one I can add to the list. It works, it doesn't break me out, it doesn't burn. I actually genuinely enjoy using this deodorant. I've actually been using it every single day for the last, I think it's been about two weeks loving it. I ended up going with the unscented, but I just placed an order for the eucalyptus and the sandalwood scent. I'm hoping that those scents work for me as well. It would be nice to kind of reach for some different scents every once in a while, but I will say I do love that this one is unscented because it doesn't mess with my perfumes or lotions or anything like that. If you are like me and struggle with deodorants, give this one a try. It really works. It is natural. It doesn't have like aluminum or any of that stuff. It has a few different ingredients than some of the other natural deodorants that I've used have. So maybe that's why it works for me. But like I said, if you struggle with deodorants, give this one a try. I highly recommend it. Speaking of smelling good, I have to mention this new Lalabo perfume. Now it's not new because this one's been around for a very, very long time, but it is new to me. If you watched one of my vlogs, I actually went up to the mall and I tested this one out. I wore it for the day and I actually went back like, I don't know, a couple of weeks after that and I tried it one more time just to make sure that I liked it. I decided to end up ordering it and you guys, I am in love. So I will say this is very different. Like I'm talking on the opposite end of the spectrum from any perfume that I have ever, ever shared with you guys. So I typically gravitate towards florals, sometimes a little touch of sweetness, but mainly florals. That's just what I prefer. Coco Mademoiselle, you know, things like that. I love a good floral perfume. That's just what I've always gravitated for, gravitated towards. This is not floral at all. It is very warm. It's very woodsy. It actually has a lot of like masculine notes to it. It is a unisex perfume, but I love it. Every single time I leave the house when I am wearing this perfume, I get compliments and people actually know what it is. I actually stopped and got a tea at a like little local coffee shop and the guy behind the counter was like, are you wearing Santal? Are you wearing La Labo? And I was like, oh my goodness, I am. Like I love wearing this. I just feel so confident in it even though it is completely different than anything that I've ever smelled. So if you decide to go ahead and give this a try and order it and you've just kind of going out on a limb and just gonna order it and give it a try, you know, due to my recommendation, give it a couple of days, especially if you are like used to floral scents like I typically am. Cause I will say I, I was drawn to the scent at first, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure if I wanted to walk around smelling like it. I needed to give it a few days and I don't know how to explain it now. I almost prefer to wear this over my other floral scents. I just feel really sultry, really confident in this. It just feels mature and just elegant and it's not overpowering at all. Do you know a lot of perfumes have that initial alcohol scent in the beginning? You don't you don't have that with this. You don't have that like perfumey scent at all. It's just like, oh, it's so warm and sultry. Let me see. I mean, I wish you guys could smell like it's it just oh, I don't know how to explain it. It it smells like it definitely smells like a man or a woman could wear it, but it just felt it smells so sultry and warm and like I said, a little bit woodsy, 
almost like a like a leathery kind of um but but not like in a bad way i don't know how to explain it it just smells so so good so i will link this down below it is pricey i went ahead and splurged and got the big bottle i've got the 3.4 ounce but they do have half ounces they even have like little tester sets i ended up ordering the tester set because there are a few other lalabo scents that i want to try i will link the uh discovery set that i ordered i think it was 85 bucks and you get four different like mini size perfumes that one uh this one is actually included in the discovery set so if you aren't quite sure you want to order a full size bottle the discovery set might be a good choice for you um but i personally got it because i was like oh i can use the the smaller size as a travel size for me but then it also gives me the chance to try three other lalabo scents that are really popular um you guys recommended the rose and the i think it was called the another 31 and then there's one called like bays or buys or something in there so i'll go and give those a try and let you know but i will say i love this next up i wanted to share my two favorite curling irons i've gotten a ton of questions about my curls recently and these are the two um you know that i use i actually recommended this one and i've been recommending this one for the last several months it's super affordable under 50 bucks i actually see it sometimes for like 30 32 dollars i love this one it's one and a quarter so i'll link it down below for you guys it's a really 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 good um curling iron i think it is gentle on the hair it's very smooth it doesn't tug on my hair and it leaves a really really nice curl that will last for days i recently ordered this one as well because i don't know if you can notice but it is a long barrel so it is about an inch inch and a half longer and if you have long or thicker hair or you're looking more for a like a, a longer curl more of like this what you see today a beach like longer like lengthier curl having that extra length helps you out to get that like longer curl this barrel is is really really nice as well however i will say this is a splurge this one is over a hundred dollars so i do recommend both they're just at two different price points i like having both because i do personally feel like they give me two different curls i love both the same this is the one that i use today and as you can see it gives that like longer uh beachy wave curl i can still get that look with this one it's just easier to get it with this one whereas this one i like whenever i want a little bit more of a voluminous curl even though they're the same size because they are the same size and even even though i can get the voluminous curl with this one or the lengthening or you know i can get both looks with both ones but it's just easier to get them like more vol voluminous curl with this one and it's easier to get the like longer leaner curl with this one hopefully that makes sense i'll link these down below like i said two different price points it just depends on how much you want to spend while we're talking about hair i wanted to go ahead and mention my new current favorite dry shampoo i think this is the perfect like medium weight dry shampoo hopefully that makes sense but i have a really beautiful lightweight dry shampoo that i love and then i have like a full-blown like extreme heavy weight dry shampoo that i also love but this one is a really good medium weight one so i know i've mentioned the charcoal one that is more of a heavier weight i've mentioned the orbe one that is more of a lightweight this is a really good like medium weight good for every single day i will say you will start to get a little bit of buildup if you use this after like day two or three just depending on how much you use i definitely re recommend just doing a little bit at a time doing it in layers you really don't need that much it dries down really really nicely i do like this a lot next up i want to mention this repairing balm i have talked about my skin being a lot drier and more dehydrated than normal which is typical whenever the weather is a little colder during the winter months this right here has been a lifesaver if you are at all on the dry side so if you're combo if you're dry i highly highly recommend this product it is so so good especially if you have like patchy dry areas you can use this and like i don't know why but i get dry around the eyebrows around the nose and around here and sometimes in the middle of the forehead so i will just kind of spot treat where i need to and do my i'll do my other moisturizer all over and then i will spot treat using this in the areas that i need it but right now during the colder months i actually do a light layer of this all over on my face 
and my neck and all around my chest area. I love this and it's super affordable. I think this tube is around $14. I know I've talked about this in the past, but I wanted to go ahead and mention it again because I am still loving it. And then I also wanted to mention this setting spray. This is called the Airbrush Fault Flawless Setting Spray. I am loving this. I actually spray this before I blend out my foundation and I find that my foundation actually lasts a lot longer. I will also set at the end after just a touch, but I find mixing it in with the foundation before you blend it out really, really gives a nice coverage and a nice finish. So I highly, highly recommend this one as well. I get asked all the time about my favorite blushes and bronzers, so I wanted to share two of my favorites. So first up is this cream bronzer by Fenty. Again, I've been talking about this one for months as well, but I love it. So whether you're going for a like no makeup look and you just want something kind of dewy, love it, or you're doing a full face like I'm wearing today, I will still apply this. I will put this on before I powder and then put like my, you know, powder blush or powder bronzer. I love like the layered effect. I feel like especially if you're planning on wearing your makeup the entire day, layering is really really important this color is my absolute favorite so it, it's kind of messy i do wear it quite a bit this is the butter biscuit color love the formula it is buildable it is really really creamy and it uh, blends out really nicely i'm wearing it today like i said and then probably if i could only pick one blush it would be this one this one is the Swish and Pop Blusher in the color First Love. It is a really good everyday blush. As you can see, there are two colors there. I just blend the two together, but again, what I'm wearing today, and it's, to me, it's like that perfect pinky flush, like natural blush. Love, 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 love these two products. Highly recommend them. Both of them are very, very blendable, and you can layer them as well. I also ordered a few new powders a couple of months ago and I've been testing them out. I wanted to share my favorite one of the bunch and that is this powder. This is called the Veil Translucent Setting Power Powder by Hourglass. I love the formula of this. It is a really nice setting powder or finishing powder. It just gives like that. Do you know their ambient lighting powders, how you just get that like almost like a, a foggy kind of airbrushed effect. I feel like this is a much lighter version of that, but this is a really, really beautiful, beautiful finish. My only complaint about this product is I don't love the way that it comes out. It, it is a little messy, I will admit, but the formula itself is amazing. So if you're looking for a good setting powder, I do like this. It is travel friendly because you've got this little plug right here. So even though it is kind of messy to get everything out of it, it is travel friendly, so I do recommend it. And I don't know if it comes in colors. Uh, mine is just the translucent, so I don't see like a color or anything like that. And then while I was mentioning powder, I just wanted to mention the two powder brushes that I love. This is by BK Beauty. This is the 105 brush. I do have a coupon code. I think it's Amanda 10. I'll link it down below for you guys. I love this. If you love a denser powder brush, this one is great. It is more of a kabuki style, but obviously a big kabuki. Love, love, love this one. It is very dense and very uh, like fluffy, but super, super soft. And if you love a looser powder brush. I love this one as well. So this one is by La Mer, so it is a splurge, I know, but I decided to go ahead and splurge on this one because I just read some amazing reviews, but this one is really nice as well. They are very different, as you can see. This one is more kabuki. This one is more dome. This one is a little bit more dense, but super soft, and this one is looser. Love them both. Um, I actually like to set with this one, and then I like to finish with this one because it just doesn't like disturb the makeup, but it can like, oh, I don't know, I just, I love them both. So I'll link them down to below. Like I said, I do have a coupon code for this one. So next up, I wanted to go into a few fashion favorites and I have to mention my new Louis Vuitton earrings. I did have a few or several of you guys ask for me to do a review or talk about them. So I thought I would go ahead and talk about them in this video. One, they are super lightweight, like extremely lightweight. So if you were worried about them being heavy, they are not. My Chanel earrings, pretty much all of them are heavier than these by far. These are really, really lightweight. I did have someone say that they heard bad things about these earrings, and to be honest, I can't really think of anything negative. The only thing I will say, let me take these off, I wanna also mention the earrings that I'm wearing today. 
These are brand new. I just had, I just got them. So I haven't really had them the entire month, but I love them. These are a two tone. You can see they're a really nice size. Look at them compared to these. Um, they've got the gold rim on the outside and the twisted silver in the center. Love, love, love these. These are actually, I think they're the same price as the Louis Vuitton earrings, but my only complaint about the Louis Vuitton ones, and I wouldn't even say it's a complaint. I feel like that's just how earrings are sometimes is when you're putting it on sometimes it is hard to find the little groove to close it again do I think that is necessarily a complaint absolutely not but if someone is asking me for my review and they're saying that there are negatives I'm like okay well let me try to find a negative that would be the only thing that I can think of so let me just show you um, sometimes it's easy to find and sometimes it's hard so like it didn't find it right away. There we go, found it, there we go. These are so beautiful. So I wanna go and show these two side by side. You can see the, the hoops and the sizes and you can see it's not tugging on the ear at all. Now, weight wise, oh, I don't know. I don't know which ones are, they're probably about the same weight, these two, but these are hollow. So they're really, really lightweight. You can look at my earlobes. It's not pulling at all. I highly recommend these. Like I said, they're lightweight. I think they're a really nice size. They're definitely like a statement piece. Every time I wear them, you guys no notice them. You can kind of just see them moving in my hair, especially if you have darker hair. I think they're so pretty. Love these, so I had to mention them in this month's favorites. I also had to mention these lightweight joggers. Y'all know how much I love my joggers and my lounge pants. I will pop on a picture of me wearing them. I have them in a mediums, but as you look, if you look at the picture, look really closely, I actually have the waistband rolled down because they are really big on me, but I kind of love how loose, oversized, and comfortable they are, especially for lounging around the house. But then as you see, I just rolled the waistband down to style them up a little bit and I think they look super, super cute. I almost feel like rolling the waistband down gave them a little bit of a style. So again, I went up the size. I think they run true to size. So can you go true to size? Could I have gotten a small? Absolutely, but I think the medium gives just a slightly different look. But the weight is really nice, super, super soft. They have pockets. You've got this drawstring, and like I said, the weight is really perfect, especially going into spring and summer. And while we're talking about fashion favorites, I have to mention my new Fendi flats. So y'all know how much I loved the darker color combo I had to get them in this nude color combo. They are so perfect for spring and summer. I did get a few questions about them. They run true to size and they're actually really, really comfortable. I wouldn't have bought them in the second color if they weren't comfortable. Like I sometimes don't mind a shoe being uncomfortable, but not a flat, not a flat. And I'm certainly not gonna buy it in a second color if they're not comfortable. You guys just know how I am. I just can't do it. But these are actually really comfortable. And now I'm not saying that I'm gonna go walk the zoo in these, probably after a couple of hours, they are gonna hurt because they're a fashion shoe. They're not a comfort shoe, but for like, they're actually really comfortable. So I've worn these all day long, like not walking all day long, but I've worn them all day long, sitting some, walking some, sitting some, walking some and they're really, really comfortable, so I highly recommend these. And I just think they're so cute. They go with all of like my nude handbags, so I love these. I will be wearing these nonstop spring and summer. And last but not least is my favorite handbag of the month. Drum roll, please. So my favorite handbag of the month is my Speedy Bandolier in the 25 size. So I feel like I haven't pulled out this bag and worn it in a while, but when I did, I remembered how much I love it. This bag is so practical. It's easy, it's worry-free, it's practical, it's cute, it's effortless. I feel like it just gives a chill, relaxed vibe. But again, it's so, so practical. I really, really love this bag. If you are struggling to decide between the 25 size or the 30 size, I do have a video comparing it, so make sure to check that video out. But I just kind of fell back in love with this bag this month, and I just think it's so cute. I don't know why, for some reason, I just especially love it in the Abine. Um, my strap has gotten super soft over time. Whenever I got it, I will say it was a lot stiffer. Now, it's so comfortable. You can see how easy it moves. Don't hesitate. It's an amazing bag. It's a quality bag, and I think that it is just one of those pieces that um, I will continue to reach for. I, I hate to say this because I used to be a classic Speedy girl, like hardcore 
I, I think I've converted you guys. I think I'm a bandolier girl. I think I am a speedy bandolier girl now. No longer the classic speedy girl. I'm, I'm, I'm the bandolier girl now and I love it. So that is it you guys, all things that I have been loving this past month. So make sure to check out the links down below if you wanted to shop any of these items. Like I said, my name is Amanda. It's so nice to meet you. If you're new to my channel, stick around, hit that subscribe button. I do fashion, lifestyle, luxury videos here. Let me know if you have any video requests in the comments before you head out. Make sure to check out one of these and I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon, bye-bye. Never up, never down, never. Like a flame in a song, clever